In this video, I'm going to teach you about arrays. An array is a type of variable that stores more than one number. Think of an array as a book with a number on each page. Okay. First, we set the title of our book and how many pages it will have. We use DIM to declare our array and set our number of pages in the brackets. Since the count starts with zero, the number 2 in the brackets actually means that there are three pages. You always want to set your array slash book up with one extra page. That way um, you won't use up all of your pages on accident. Think, think of this as your credits page at the end of the book. Now, how do you write these numbers in your book? First, you have to tell the program where to look for these numbers using the restore function followed by the label of the place that you're keeping your data. Down here we have our data. Every parameter in the data command is another number that you're going to put in your array. Unfortunately this isn't done yet. It's not enough that you have to show the program where you keep the numbers. You have to tell it to read the numbers one by one. In order, to, in order to do this, we use a for loop. Inside our for loop, we use the read command to read our data number and put it in a variable called c. Then after the number is in c, we put it on a page of our book by saying the title of our book followed by the page number equals whatever number is currently in c. Now that I have my numbers in my book, I will use these numbers to change a parameter in SPCHR to make it look like my character is moving. First thing I do is I time uh, each of the frames when my sprite will change. I increment a variable called C and T. When this count reaches 10 and 20, it changes the page number of my array using this anim variable and uh, that that will change this right here in my this parameter right here in my SPCHR okay next then I set up my SPFS so that I can move the actual positions in my sprite here I have uh, if the button isn't pressed then I find out if my character is facing left or right and then change it to the appropriate sprite showing that my character is standing still. If left or right is pressed then move my X positions accordingly and change my sprite depending upon the, what page my book is on. And uh, as you can see I subbed in the array name and the page number for my second parameter in SPCHR then we will leave that parameter alternating between the 16 and 32 we stored in our array. 